Good morning, everyone. We are headed out for the day, and we uh, just happened to take a detour down a dirt road, and our first snake of the day already, a little banded water snake, or that might be a plain belly. We'll pick him up and see. He's kind of weird looking. Yeah, so if you can't tell based on the fact there's a snake in the road already, it's fairly warm today, beautifully overcast, and uh, should be a pretty fantastic day to look for snakes. So let's see what this guy is. Oh, yep, that's a plain belly. <laughs> What's up, Grump? Good looking little snake. Hopefully we'll see some more of these today, but nice way to start. We'll get him out of the road. Hello. Wow, that was a good jump. Where is he at? There he is. Hold up. Hey, buddy. <laughs> He's cool. All right, we're going to continue to where we're hiking. Hopefully we'll see some snakes out in the open there. Goodbye. All right, everyone, we're back into habitat and we're gonna be hiking around in the swamp today. Really wanna see some king snakes, that's the big goal. Um, but there's a lot of cool bycatch we could find here as with most places, so we'll be happy to see anything. There we go. <laughs> well, we lost probably 10 to 12 snakes before we found this guy. Uh, racers, a couple racers, uh, lots of water snakes, a couple cottonmouths. But this guy's not going anywhere. He's in a pretty easy spot to get to, thankfully. What a beautiful natural pose to find him into, just coiled up right there. That is awesome. Look at his head. What a great looking snake. All right, we'll get a better look at this guy. <laughs> that thing's head is ridiculous. Look at that. I mean, the snake itself is very good all around. What a fantastic second king of the year. What you doing? All right, well, I guess we're gonna see how many of these we can get today. That's number one. We've only been here about, what, maybe 20 minutes at most. That is fantastic. All right, hopefully we'll see a couple of these today. The weather is, could not be better. It's the right time of year. And uh, we know there's a lot of them at this spot. I've seen as many as three in a day here before, so. Probably like the, the 12th to 15th snake of the day, and they've got another one already, so we're gonna go see what they got. There you go, beautiful. Fantastic. You can see how well camouflaged they are in the briars. Well, we're never gonna be able to catch this guy because he's in the water, but that is another plain-bellied water snake. I've seen tons of these today, but all of them have gotten away except for that one we cruised. All right, Micah's got our next king of the day, right past the first one. This one's a little better hidden. All right, well, that's pretty nice. King snake number two. <laughs> She's got some beautiful red, look at that. Two very nice kings. This one's in shed though, but we're just gonna let her keep on crawling. Great looking snake. Hoping for number three. If we can get a hat trick today, that would be awesome. Is that a hole you can even go in or are you just sticking your head in a dead end? Yep, that's a dead end. There she goes. <laughs> Sick. Look at this crusty turd. Another super unhealthy looking plain bellied water. <laughs> He's skinny and crusty, so we're just gonna leave him to it. But I mean, this is probably at least our 20th snake of the day at this point, so. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to show most of them because they just jump into the rocks or the water and disappear. Here's a yellow bellied slider, just kind of chilling on the land right here. What's up, dude? Very nice. Might be a female getting ready to nest, so we'll leave her right there. Oh, I was about to say, wow, he zoomed. All right, here's our next snake of the day. Pretty little Eastern ribbon snake. This guy's got some nice brick coloration under that thin coat of early season mud that a lot of snakes have this time of year, but really nice looking snake related to garters, but kind of just like a skinnier version of a garter. You can see that just like instantly disappears into the reeds. And there's king snake number three. Right there is the best look we've gotten at a cottonmouth today. Look at that. All right, well, we haven't gotten a look at any of the other cottonmouths yet, so it's nice to see this guy chilling like literally the king snake was right there. And then the cotton. This is a really weird looking snake. You can see the front half is very different textured looking than the back half. It's almost like 
I don't know, like he shed halfway and the back half didn't shed, but I mean, as far as I can tell, he's not in shed right now. The front half just looks a lot shinier than the back half, really odd. Of course, most of the snakes this time of year aren't looking their absolute best because they'll, they'll be going into shed very soon. I mean, he looks completely normal on the first third and then the rest of him is just like muddy, I guess. I don't know, it's odd. What a great looking snake. Three great looking kings so far today. Each a little bit different looking than the last. This one's kind of got more chains than the others did. If he'll start to crawl away here, you'll get to see him. Look at that. There's something wild going on over here. Something's got this bullfrog. It's a gator. Look, it's swimming off. Nice. I'm assuming. No, it's a snake. Holy cow. Big water snake. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's cool. Ow. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm gonna try to get a photo. Get him, dude. It's a little babby. A little babby ribbon snake. Look at him. Almost stepped on him. Look how small he is. Doesn't seem too bothered by us though, just chilling, so. We'll leave him to it, but that's neat. So many snakes out today. Just so much going on out here. It's been fantastic. And it's only like 1230 right now. We have most of the day ahead of us still. Although it is probably going to get a little bit too toasty here soon. But wow, what a day we're having for February especially. Look at these little guys. Look at them. Look at, look at those guys. What's up, dudes? There's so many of them, look at them all. <laughs> That's so cute. Love baby alligators. All right, we'll give these guys their space. Look at the one in the bush right there, you see him? Kinda, oh, yeah, kinda tucked up in there. There we got a big racer up in a tree. Look at that guy. Hello, pretty. You getting up into the bushes to get away from the hogs? Very nice. Listen to the birds go. All right, we don't want a spooker. She's got a good spot right there. Caitlin just spotted a very pretty cottonmouth just out crawling around. Look at that guy. He's actually coming to chase us right now as it would turn out. Look at that. Very nice. I wonder if he's got a hole right there. If we can. Hello. There's a cute little squirrel tree frog just hanging out in these clovers. Let's see if I can get him to jump. Come on. He was doing nothing but jumping a second ago. Woo! <laughs> Alright, we'll leave that guy to it. There's another one. These little guys are all over the place. Look at him go. All right, everybody. Well, this has been a pretty fantastic day. We spent most of the afternoon not finding much. We switched spots and walked around and just didn't have as much success as we did this morning. I think probably because it just got really hot, but lots of alligators and a couple more Nerodia that got away into the rocks and water. It was just a really action-packed first couple hours of the day. And kind of a gradual crash since then, but overall fantastic. Three king snakes, definitely the best king day of the year so far, and it's only February. So with that being said, I think I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll leave you guys with a view of this alligator. I'll see you next time. Hey, well, we're on our way out, and here is a uh, little cottonmouth in the road. It's been a pretty good day of road cruising for February. How's it going, bud? You unhappy to see us? All right.
we'll get this guy out of the road. Great way to end the day though. I thought we were gonna end without any more snakes, but here we have a nice juvenile small adult cottonmouth.